So this is Kayla. She's a three and a half year old sloth bear. She lives at the Philadelphia Zoo, and the reason she's here today is that um, she stopped eating, started vomiting. We were worried enough that we thought we should bring her over here for some more advanced imaging uh, to rule out what you know whatever might be going on with her. Her temperature's okay, as far as we know. After speaking with the zoo, that and Keith, my good friend who is at the zoo, we did recommend a CAT scan. Good. So the next step would be to inject the contrast. This is a contrast injector. It automatically injects the, the dye that's going to be um, enhancing all the vasculature. We're set. I'm going to scan all the way down to her hips. The CAT scan was an excellent choice for imaging. Let's look at the post contrast, see if that helps. So here, in the pelvis of this bear, we see this object here that is very well defined. We were able to identify the form material quite quickly. Thank you very much. Well, join me, Keith. You're going to come in, aren't you? Scrub in. If you, you want me to. Yeah, I would love for you to. to. Uh, so the goal now is just to go in and get it out. And then if there's any damage that we need to fix uh, while we're in there, we can do that. We were able to do a large incision that allowed us to actually exteriorize the intestines. Once the intestines were identified and exteriorized, we slowly, hand over hand, inspect them carefully. Here it is. Wow. It's often an interesting thing when we're pulling out foreign objects, because we like to try to guess what they are before we actually see them. It looks like a, a rock. It doesn't look like a rock on CT, though. I can see it. Oh, <laughs> dude, you know what this is? It's a gem. Oh, my god. Someone threw, a, like, a plastic toy gem. It's like a necklace. It's a necklace? During the day, the keepers are always checking on the bears, but we can't be with them every bear 24 hours a day. And obviously, there's a bit of a risk when you have, uh, you know, a million people coming through your zoo every year. The good news is, is that she has done exceptionally well since surgery.